Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I want to introduce you to this amazing platform which is called as Quadratic AI. And if you don't know about Quadratic AI, it is a native AI spreadsheet that will redefine the data handling part. Not only this, if you talk with respect to data management, data analysis, it will make it much more easier, quicker and efficient. This I have been using lately for uh, getting insights from my tabular data and trust me the kind of productivity I have gained because of this particular platform It's quite amazing Now if I talk more about this like this is the entire website You can just go to quadratichq.com here You can see that it is an AI spreadsheet with code and connection that basically means within this particular spreadsheet You should be also able to run Python code and you should also be able to connect to external databases so that you can directly pull the database uh, data in within that particular sheet Okay, and not only that, you'll be able to see that you'll be able to chat your data and get insights in seconds. And here are the main keys, functionalities that you'll, you'll be able to do with respect to analysis. Here you can see that it has uh, access to various uh, models through which you will be able to directly just feed the prompt and automatically you should be able to get the analysis. If I talk with respect to charts, here also you can see that you just need to provide a prompt with respect to a specific data and automatically you should be able to generate this particular chart also with the help of the LLM model. Not only that, you have support for multiple different kind of models from bedrock to other uh, service providers with respect to various LLMs. Then you'll also be able to create reports and these reports are like how we specifically create reports in the Excel sheet. Similarly, more complicated reports will also be, uh, you'll be able to create it. And I will be showing you all these things in a specific demo as we go ahead. And not only that, you'll also be able to see some kind of dashboards, visualization dashboards and all over here, like pie chart, bar chart. And this is the best part about this is that you should also be able to work within a team in a collaborative way. So let's say there is one spreadsheet. There are four people who specifically wants to work. You should be able to do all the different works in a collaborative manner. That is so amazing about this. Right now, my entire team is specifically using this because whenever we specifically work on a specific report or on a specific data, we have four to five people working over there and that is the reason we have selected this specific platform. Not only that, uh, you'll be able to see that it has some amazing uh, interface. Uh, the insights are quite faster. You'll be able to import your data and directly use the spreadsheets uh, along with the AI to get quick insights with respect to this, right? then uh, you'll be able to create the charts, you'll be able to simplify database queries. Now, what I will do is that I will show you quickly how we can specifically go ahead and work with this. So first of all, just go ahead and click on open quadratic. It will ask you to probably sign in. I've already done the sign in over here. So what I will do, once I probably go over here, you can see that I am having this particular options, files, connection, member settings. I've played with so many number of sheets over here and it is working amazingly, right? So to start with, what I will do is that I'll just go ahead and click on new file. Okay. Now, once I click on new file here, you will be able to see that uh, this file will get loaded on the left hand side. You have all these features. So this is uh, basically your options where you can probably go ahead and write your prompt. You can even select different models. Like it has support of cloudy 3.7 Sonnet, cloudy 3.5, GPT 4.0, O3 mini. So you don't have to even put API keys and all. Already this platform is specifically having that. And you can just go ahead and select it, whichever model you want to use it, right? Then uh, on the right hand side, you have this import data. Let's say you want to go ahead and import some of your data over here, right? Quality of live indexes by country.csv. You can directly open, select this CSV file and open it, okay? Along with that, you'll also be able to use this connections. Uh, let's say that you want to probably go ahead and um, uh, write a Python code in a specific cell. Uh, and try to execute that Python code and get the output in this cell. You should be able to select this. If you want to apply formula, you will be able to do this. If you have any external databases like Postgres test, uh, like over here, you can see that I have Postgres. I've also tried MySQL. So if you go ahead and click on this manage connection, these are the four databases that it probably supports. Snowflake, MySQL, SQL Server and Postgres SQL. Okay. And uh, these are the basic functionalities. Now let me show you how beautifully it basically creates this kind of data. It can even create the data. It can put it in this particular spreadsheet and quickly you can apply any kind of Python code on it. Okay. So I will just try to use AI over here. Here are multiple examples. Let me say that I will just go ahead and write, hey, uh, create e-commerce 
let's say I will just go ahead and write like this create a e-commerce data set okay with three fields okay I will just go ahead and use some three fields over here uh, let's say the field name are order number product and amount in USD okay in USD so if I just go ahead and do this and I'll say hey uh, create around create around 100 records okay so I will just go ahead and do this now automatically you can see that this is using cloudy 3.7 sonnet which is an amazing model so quickly it has started creating this particular table now as soon as this table is basically created the data will be visible over here right so here you, you can see that the response from the cloudy 3.7 sonnet is that i'm creating an e-commerce data set with 100 records containing order number product and amount in usd so automatically this is it has already started working and this table should be visible over here in just in some time okay till then uh, till the table is basically getting created let me just go ahead and probably write some more visualization or anything that i really want to do or any data analysis report I, that i really want to generate i will just go ahead and probably write the code over here write the prompt over here and i should be able to get it now here you can see that as soon as this has got executed so this is my entire data set that has got created right so i have order number i have product i have this specific amount in usd right and this is the e-commerce data table that it has got created over here okay now i will just go ahead and probably um, write something over here i'll say hey uh, provide me the data provide me the data uh, for the products for the products and its sale volume okay sale volume now make sure that whenever you write this kind of query do select it where you really want let's say that i'm selecting it over here i want this entire details to be populated over here okay provide me the data for the products and its sale volume in a table okay in a table let's say i'm just going to write this now let's see whether i will be able to get the response now what this is going to do is that as soon as i've given this text you will be able to see that it will go ahead and write a python code which is quite amazing right so here now it is writing a python code and automatically you can see that my python my products my sales volume wireless head all these things are visible over here so from this particular table it was able to extract this particular details and here i'm able to get my output right so this is a very simple way and here if you want to probably go ahead and see the python over here right you can just go ahead and click over here and this is my entire python code that is just got generated right and here also for this particular python code also let's say you want to make some kind of changes you can probably go ahead and make the changes over here by writing a prompt right so this is really really much very handful for all those people who are product managers who quickly want to do the kind of data analysis right now even my sales team you know is being efficiently able to use this and they are able to create quick reports and i'm using this in an amazing way okay now what i will do uh, so here i've told provide me the data for the products and its sale volume so instead of writing like this i will just go ahead and write some more uh, in a good way i'll say that hey uh, provide me the data with the total sales with total sales for every product okay so i'm just going to <laughs> write this this is a normal text sentence okay and automatically it should be able to create it so it will go and create over here so here you can see that uh, for desktop computer this is the total sale for smartphone this is the total sale so quickly i am able to generate all these things right so this is one done now what i will do i will just go ahead and create some more reports now i'll show you how we can go ahead and create a visualization report so i've selected this particular cursor i will say hey uh, create a bar chart for the percentage of total sales by by product right so once i go ahead and execute this here you will be able to see that now it is just going to create a bar chart over here okay automatically this python code is basically getting executed and uh, once this python gets executed um, you will be able to see over here right and the best part over here is that right this python code that is getting generated right let's say if this python code clear shows any kind of error so now you can see over here my entire bar chart is basically created and this is the python code now if this python code also generates some kind of error we have will be getting an option wherein you can probably just fix it with ai 
you know you can you will be having a red color button over here which i will be showing you as we go ahead okay so right now here you can this, see this i'll just close this you are able to see the charts over here and quickly with respect to all the charts here you are having all the values with respect to the total percentage right now let me just go ahead and create one more one more uh, pie chart if you want uh, or i will i'll not uh, use bar chart but instead i can create a pie chart also so i'll write hey create a pie chart let's say uh, i want the percentage for the percentage of total sales total sales amount by product right so once i do this you will be able to see that uh here your entire pie chart will get created so again the python code is basically written it has picked up the sale uh, that is e83 the e block 83 so the entire pie chart will be created over here right so automatically here you can see beautifully the pie chart is basically created okay and you can also expand it you can also extend this kind of diagrams as you like okay so here you have this and here you have this okay so this is my entire pie chart and all things uh, <laughs> that is available over here okay uh let me just go ahead and see this so here uh, it is working absolutely fine let me do one thing over here let me quickly uh, write one more amazing way like I'll, I'll just give one more prompt now i have no clue what else i should probably ask i will just go ahead and say hey uh, hey perform some statistical analysis statistical analysis and provide me some insights show that so that i can i can show it to my product manager okay so i'll just go ahead and execute this so i'm just saying hey just go ahead and perform any statistical analysis i don't have much clue of what statistical analysis uh, i need to apply for this particular data set so automatically here you'll be able to see that we are able to get a python code uh, again that python code will basically run it will generate the uh, statistical analysis and it will provide me the entire report so that i should be able to see this uh, to the product manager so whatever things you have like let's say that you are a good experienced data analyst now this is where you got an error okay so let's see whether we'll be able to fix this error so here you can see uh, there is an error uh, for this particular python code saying that got an unexpected keyword argument uh, descending okay so now i will just go ahead and click this and i will show you how we can fix this error also so now uh, over here there is some error that is happening from this particular error you can see that there is a there is not a keyword argument called as descending so what you can basically do wherever there is a descending you can remove it and you can play with other parameters but what i will do since i'm using cloudy 3.7 sonnet i will just say fix uh, in ai okay fix in ai chat so this will probably analyze all the code and it will try to provide you a solution quickly and it is trying to probably see each and every code specifically with respect to ai and here I fix the error by parameter descending true is equal to ascending is equal to false. And I'll just say apply run and I will accept it. Automatically, you'll be able to see that I'm getting all the information over here. Isn't it amazing? So the total number of orders is 100. Total revenue is this much. Average order is this much. These all things are there. Now, this is the best part, right? I'm telling AI, hey, okay, I'm getting this particular error because some people are very pissed off about getting or seeing different kind of errors, right? And if they really want to fix it, they'll just go ahead and write it over here and they'll say, hey, fix with AI. Now, automatically, the AI is analyzing and it is providing you all the issues with respect to different, different reports, right? Uh, and here you can see I've got my entire solution itself, right? This is the beautiful part, right? And this is how you can probably go ahead and see that how you can use Fixin AI chat and you can apply and run it. Okay. Now, uh, one more uh, thing, like let's say that I'm out of ideas. I'll say, hey, uh, hey, uh, please generate one more visualization. Please generate one more visualization, visualization report so that I can impress my manager impress my manager i'm just writing this I'm, I'm talking as this is my friend right and right now guys my sales team are basically using this i'm very much impressed you know because just a week back my sales team told about this and uh, they were saying that krish this is quite amazing we should definitely make a video on that so that people uses this and people also get to know about this and how things goes ahead with this you know so this is an amazing tool altogether so here uh now you'll be able to see that uh let's see uh, this python code is basically getting executed 
and uh, again remember guys if you need to have a good internet connection to work with this if you have uh, if you don't have a good internet connection then this all will take a lot of time right so here you can see wow this diagram has got created okay so here is my entire chart and it has also provided you a detailed analysis what all things it did beautiful right that's it that is it right so here what all things we got top 10 products by revenue order distribution by price range product distribution category revenue trend analysis everything is available over here itself right now uh, i hope uh, you like this particular video you know and uh, you were able to understand how we can probably use this and just try it out guys along with this what i can also do is that i will just go ahead and again go to quadratic okay i also wanted to show you one more option quadratichq.com use quadratic ai and let's say that i go ahead and create a new sheet but here i think i've almost shown you any kind of styling that you really want to do in this spreadsheet you can do it let's say i want to probably uh, highlight this i should be able to highlight with the green color right whatever things we basically do in the excel this is there styling is you are able to apply it very good product altogether uh, this kind of product is specifically required let's say i would just go ahead and click on new okay and here inside this particular new category let's say i okay one more option that i want to show you you can also share it right share it with any of your team members let's say i want to sh share it with my another email id i will just go ahead and write krishna 0456 at the gmail.com okay and once i share it you know i'll give a permission can view or can edit uh, let's say if I am saying can edit, I will go ahead and invite it. Then automatically this uh, notification will come to my mail wherein I should be able to access this particular sheet from my email itself, right? So guys, I hope you like this specific video. Go ahead and try this specific platform. And obviously, uh, just go ahead and use this. See whether you are able to improve your productivity or not. And whether you are able to manage your data set within the Excel sheet or not, right? So this is how many people work. Specifically, many people focuses on Excel sheets where they actually do the entire reporting and all. But I think this is the best thing uh, that we have right now. Amazing platform. And I'm super impressed with this. All the information regarding this will be given in the description of this particular video. So yes, this was it from my side. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Take care.